In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for SrNO3 2 plus K2SO4, strontium nitrate plus potassium sulfate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see that I have two potassiums here and just one here. So I think I'll put a two in front of the potassium nitrate. The potassiums are balanced. Now I have two nitrates, but I have two nitrates here as well. And it looks like that balances the molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates here, very soluble. So this is going to be AQ, aqueous, dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Sulfates in general are soluble and potassium compounds very soluble. We'll put an AQ here and then we have another nitrate. So that's going to be aqueous. But sulfates, there are a few exceptions. One of the exceptions is strontium. Strontium sulfate is insoluble. That means these two substances react and we form this insoluble compound. It'll be a solid and it'll sink to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is our precipitate in this reaction. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. The strontium, that's going to be 2 plus. It's in group 2. And the whole nitrate is always 1 minus. We have two of them. So we'll have our strontium ion. And I'll write aqueous later. Plus, we'll have two of those nitrate ions, NO3 minus. For potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. It'll be one plus each one of them. And the whole sulfate ion, two minus. Good one to remember. So we have two potassium ions, and then we have that sulfate ion. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said potassium is positive and the nitrate is negative. So again, we'll have two potassium ions and two nitrate ions. In net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. This is our precipitate. We're not going to split that apart. So we're just going to write SrSO4. And this is the complete ionic equation. So now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So when I look at the reactants here and the products, I can see in the reactants I have two nitrate ions. In the products, I also have two nitrate ions. These are spectator ions. We'll cross those out. Reactants, two potassium ions, and in the products, two potassium ions. Spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for SrNO3 2 plus K2SO4. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for strontium nitrate plus potassium sulfate. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced, and the charge, it's balanced as well. 2 plus, 2 minus, that gives you a net charge of 0. Over here in the products, we have a neutral compound, so net charge of 0. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for SrNO3 2 plus K2SO4. Thanks for watching.